Good day, grade 11s. Welcome to this next lesson in mathematics. In this lesson, we're going to be um, continuing with finance. We're going to go through a couple more of these type of questions. And then we're going to move on to, hopefully, if we finish our finance questions, we're one, two, three, four, quite a few finance questions that I want to go through. And then once we've finished going through the finance questions, then we will obviously move on to probability. Okay, so let's start with this. Vishnu and Landy receive 15,000 Rand each. Okay, they decide to invest money for a period of eight years as follows. Vishnu used, invested his money in a simple interest at 8.7% per annum. At the end of eight years, Vishnu received a cash bonus of 3% on the principal amount. Landy interest well his interest at 6.9% per annum, 6.9% per annum, compounded monthly, but you'll notice that he didn't get a cash bonus. It says calculate the value of Vishnu's investment after eight years, including the cash bonus. So they're being kind of nice because the question one says calculate the value of Vishnu's investment and calculate. 6.3.2 says calculate the value of Landy's investment after eight years. Okay, whereas what they could do is be really mean and say to you, um, which of the two made the better investment choice and show all your calculations. So they're actually being really nice in asking you to do it this way. So let's talk about Vishnu. Vishnu, okay, it had simple interest. So we know the formula for simple interest is A is equal to P1 plus IN, okay? Where A is your principal, which is 15,000 Rand in this case. Your I is your interest, which is 8.7%, but remember it has to be in the form of a decimal, so we have to divide by 100, so it's going to be 0, 0, 0.87. Um, N is the number of years, which is 8. Okay, we will add the 3% bonus afterwards. Okay, so let's first work out the amount that we would get out if there wasn't 3% bonus. So it's going to be A is 15, 1, 2, 3, 1 plus, actually, you know what, there's not enough space, so let's write it here. A is 15, 1, 2, 3, 1 plus, 0, 0, 8, 0, I'm sorry, that's just so messy, I don't like it at all. Let's try again. Um, 0.087 multiplied by 8. Okay, sorry, different color, but anyway. So let's get out our calculator. Whee! And let's work that out. So we've got 15. Let's start again. Let's clear this. 15, 1, 2, 3. 3 multiplied by 1 plus open bracket 0. 0, mm -mm, 0.087 times 8, close bracket, equals, and that's 25,440, so that is 25,440, plus, now we have to work out 3% on the principal amount. So that is going to be 3 out of 100 multiplied by 15,000. So we cancel that with that and that with that. So we end up with 25,440 plus 450, which is 25,890. So Vishnu, at the end of his period, has a total of, let's write it over here, 25,890. 25,890. Right, now let's look at Landy's investment. So let's erase all of this. Landy's was a little bit easier 
in the sense that there wasn't that extra 3% principle on the principle that you had to add in the end. Okay, so now let's work it out. Okay. So we know that it's a compound interest, so it's going to be A is equal to P 1 plus I to the power of N. We know that again P is 15,000. I is interesting because it's not just 6.9%, but it's 6.9% compounded monthly. So if it's 0, 0, 0.69 divided by 12, but then N is also interesting because it's not just the eight years, but now because it's compounded monthly, it is eight times 12, which is 96. Okay, so now we can substitute this in to the formula and see what our eventual outcome is. A is the principle of 15,000 multiplied by one plus 0, 0, 0.69 all over 12, all to the power of 96. Right, so let's clear it. We got 15, no, let's clear again. 15, 1, 2, 3, 3 multiplied by 1 plus 0, 0.069. All over 12 bracket to the power of 96 equals and that's 26,009 rand and 69 cents so that comes to 26,009 rand and, and let me just check it 69 cents 69 cents. So you can see that Landy definitely had the better investment, even if it was just by 110 Rand or 119 Rand. Okay, so much of a matchness, but Landy did come out with a better investment. Now let's look at this question. It says Jame invests a certain amount for five years. The investment earns interest at 12% per annum compounded monthly for the full term. James withdraws 2,000 Rand from the account after 15 months and after five years the value of the investment was 23,564. How, what amount did James initially invest? Okay, right, so we're going to let the amount, let the amount he invested BP. Do you agree? Because it's the principal. So let's think about this. We've got five years. Okay, after a year and a half, we know it's 18 months. So we've got 60 months. Do you agree? 60 months. The reason I'm going to 60 months, five years, is because it's compounded monthly. So the whole way through the I is 12%. So it's 0, 0,12 divided by 12. The number of payments, we're going to break this up, is first going to be 18 and then it's going to be, oh, that's an 15. First it's going to be 18. Do you agree? Because it's the first 18 payments, is 18 months. And then he subtracts, we lose 2,000 Rand. And then we've got the rest of the 60 months, which is going to be 42 months. Okay, you with me? So for this bit here, we've got I is 0 0.112 over 12 for N equals 18. For this bit here, I is 0 0.112 over 12, but n is going to be 42, right? Um, and the final investment, the amount out, is 23,564. Okay, so let's think about this. What have we got? We've got P times by um, 0, 0,12 
No, let's try again. Let's actually write down the formula, shall we? So the way this goes is P one plus naught comma one two over twelve to the power of eighteen is going to give you a certain amount of money. Okay. Then you're going to take that certain amount of money and we're going to then subtract 2,000 from it. And then we're going to multiply the whole of that by this bit here, which is 1 plus 0.12 over 12 to the power of 42. And that's going to equal the total amount. Okay, so let me take this through you very basically. Let's take it nice and slow. Okay. If I wanted to find out the amount of money, the A, that I had at this point, okay, do you agree to be the principal? The formula is A is equal to P, 1 plus I to the power of N. So the A at this point would be P times 1 plus I to the power of N because it's for 18 months, right? So that bit there is A, right? Then we subtract the 2,000 Rand because he removed the 2,000 Rand. And this bit here is the new principle coming in. So this is the new principle coming in at that point. And for this bit, we've got 1 plus 0 0.12 over 12 to the power of 42. And all together that comes to 23,564 Rand. Okay, get it. Okay, so now we need to do this on a calculator. <laughs> So probably the best way to do this would be to multiply out, work this out first, okay? And then we can get rid of this bracket, right? You happy with that? So what I would do is first I'm going to erase some stuff so that I've got space to write. Okay, so we agree that the amount invested is P, right? If you are watching this live and you feel like I've lost you a little bit, feel free to go and watch the copy of the video um, and then you can go and see how it's done. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite this so that we know what's going on. Okay, so we've got P times by 1 plus 0, 1, 2 over 12 auto power of 18 minus 2000 times a 1 plus 0, 0,12 over 12 or the power of 42 is equal to 23,564. So what I could do to make my life easier is I could divide both of these sides by this fraction, fraction here, 1 plus 0, 0,12 over 12 to the power of 42 is equal to this 23,564 divided by 1 plus 0,12 over 12 all to the power of 42. So I think let's work that out on the calculator now. And I'm just going to erase this so that we have space to write. So let us go work that out. So we've got a fraction, clear, a fraction, and we've got 23,564 divided by bracket, one plus bracket, 0 0.12, all over 12 bracket to the power of 42, delete, 40, 42, <sighs> equals 15,514 and 98 cents. This is 15,514 and 98 cents. Okay, now that is equal to, because this cancels with this. Okay, so this is equal to this. P 
1 plus 0, 1, 2 over 12 or to the power of 18 minus 2,000. So do you agree we can take the 2,000 across? We're left with P 1 plus 0, 1, 2 over 12 to the 18 plus, and we can say it's equal to this, plus 2,000, so it comes to 17,514,98. And now to solve for P, we're going to divide both sides by what's in the bracket. So divide both sides by 1 plus 0, 1, 2 over 12 to the 18. The two, yeah, 1 plus 0, 1, 2 over 12 to the power of 18. And that's going to cancel with that. And that means the principle is going to be whatever this answer is. So let's go work that out. So we're going to add 2, 1, 2, 3 equals. And then we're going to divide by a bracket, 1 plus fraction, 0.12 all over 12 to the power of 18 equals. So it comes to 14,642. And remember, we're rounding off to two decimal places because this is rounds and cents. So it comes to 14,642 and 83 cents. 14,642 and 83 cents. There you go, and that's your principal. That grade 11 was a nice question. I like that question because you had to think. It was quite a tricky question. Um, that was definitely a nice level four question. Okay, now it says a tractor is bought for 120,000 rand. It depreciates to 11,090 and 41 cents after 12 years by, you do reducing, by using the reducing balance method. Calculate the rate of depreciation per annum. The rate is fixed over 12 years. Okay, so we know that we're looking at the reducing balance method. So the formula for that is A is equal to P1 minus I to the power of N. Okay, the minus is important. The principle is the amount we started with, which is 120,000. So P is 120,000. The A is the amount we ended up with amount, so that becomes 11,090 comma 41. And then the number of years, because they're saying it's depreciation per annum, so we can say N is 12, the number of years, and they want I. What is the rate? So let's just substitute in this and see if we can solve for it. So we've got 11,090 comma 41 is equal to the principle of 12123, 1 minus i, we want i, all to the power of 12. Okay, so do you agree you can divide both sides by 120,000 to get rid of the thousand on both sides? The reason you want to do this is because we're actually trying to isolate i. So we need to get rid of all the other numbers, okay? So let us do this, but before we do this, um, do you agree that that means that we've got 11,090, comma 41, divided by 120,000 is equal to 1 minus i to the power of 12. So what that means is we could actually find the 12th root of this and we could find the 12th root of this. And then we'd end up with 1 minus i is equal to this thing. So let's go find out what this thing equals over there. So we're going to go clear and we're going to go shift and we're going to go 12, we're going to find the 12th root of the fraction, which is 11,090, comma, 41, 
all divided by 120, no, let's try again, 120, 1, 2, 3 equals 0, 0,82. Okay, 0, 0,82. So it's great for, do you agree that minus i is going to be 0, 0,82 minus 1, which is going to be 0, 0,18 is equal to minus 0, 0,8 is minus i. Therefore, i is going to be 18%. There you go. Not too bad, hey? Right, let's do another question. Ah, it says calculate the effective interest if the interest is 9% per annum compounded monthly. Right, grade 11s. What did I tell you? I said that the only formula that you had to have to learn was 1 plus I effective is equal to 1 plus i nominal to the power of n. And they want the effect of interest. And they've given you the nominal and they've told you it's compounded monthly. So therefore, i num is going to be 0, 0, 0.098 divided by 12. N is 12, okay, because we're basically taking it over a year. The effective interest rate, remember, is the same as what the interest rate would be if it was per annum, okay, in other words, for the year. So let's fill this in. We've got 1 plus I effective is equal to 1 plus 0, 0, 0.098 over 12 or to the power of 12. Okay, so let's go get our calculator out and do that. So we're going to have a bracket and we're going to go 1 plus 0 0.98. No, let's try again. 0 0.98 all over 12. Close the bracket to the power of 12 equals, so that's 1 comma 1 0 2 5. So 1 plus i effective is going to be 1 comma 1 0 2 5. Let me check if I'm right. 1 comma 1 0 2 5. Therefore, I effective is going to be 1 comma 1 0 2 5 minus 1, which is going to be 0 comma 1 0, because we're running for two decimal places, which is 10%. Okay, which is 10%. Or if you wanted to, you could say that that's 1 0 2 5, which is going to be 10 comma 2 5 percent. There we go, it's a bit better, I think. Okay, next question. It says, Mrs. Pillay invested 80,000 Rand in an account which offers the following. 7,5% per annum compounded quarterly for the first four years. Thereafter, 9.2% per annum compounded monthly for the next three years, okay? Calculate the total amount of money that will be in the account at the end of the seven years if no further transactions. Okay, so that's not too bad, right? We've got her investment of 80,000 Rand at T0, okay? For the first four years, okay, let's make it a bit bigger. For the first four years, your interest is, or her interest was 0, 0, 0.075 divided by it is compounded quarterly. So compounded quarterly means that it is compounded four times a year. So therefore, we would divide this by four. But then the N is going to be four years multiplied by the fact that it's compounded quarterly. So it's four, which is 16 payments. Okay. Versus the last three years where the I 
is now 0, 0, 0, 0,92 divided by 12 because it's compounded monthly. But it's for the next three years. So N is going to be 3 times 12, which is 36. Okay, so now it's pretty easy because we've got therefore that A, we know that A is P1 plus I to the power of N. Okay, so therefore we've got the A is going to be the 80,000 multiplied by this first lot, which is 1 plus the I, which is 0, 0, 0.075, all over 4, all to the power of 16. And then that all is going to be the principle that this bit comes through. So therefore, we have 1 plus 0, 0, 0, 0.092 over 12, all to the power of 3 times 12, which is 36. Okay, so the first part is pretty easy because it's just the P, which is the principal. The interest is 7.5%, which becomes 0 0.075. And then you divide it by 4 because it's quarterly. Because it's for 4 years, you go 4 times 4 and that gives you 16. Okay, so that's all easy. The second part is taking all of this. Okay, all of this and assuming that that will be the principle for the second part. Okay, so then we've got one plus what is the interest? Well, the interest was 0, 0, 0.92 percent, but it was compounded monthly, so we divide by 12. And then it's for three years, so it's three times by the total payment, which is 36. Okay, so now let's put that in our calculators. So We've got 80, 1, 2, 3, multiplied by 1 plus fraction 0 0.075, 7, 5, all over 4, bracket, to the power of 16 multiplied by 1 plus fraction 0 0.092 all over 12 close the bracket to the power of 36 equals 141,768 and 60 cents. Sure, so that was 141,768 and 60 cents. Right. And that there is the total amount of money that Mrs. Fillet will have been got out after seven years if no further transactions happen. In other words, she hasn't added any money in and she hasn't taken any money out. Right, now it says, exactly eight years ago, Tashil invested 30,000 Rand in an account earning 6.5% per annum compounded monthly. Now the first question says how much will we receive if we withdrew his money today? The second one says to she'll withdrew 10,000 th three years after making the initial deposit and then reinvested 10,000 five years after making the initial deposit. Calculate the difference between the final amount to she'll will now receive after eight years and the amount he would have received had there not been any transactions on transactions on the account after the initial deposit. Okay, so the first question we're working out how much you will receive if he doesn't mess with it at all. Okay, so that is just a basic A is equal to P1 plus I to the power of N. Do you agree? Where I, it's compounded monthly, so it's going to be 0, 0,065 over 12. 
And it's because it's compounded monthly, the N is going to be 8 times 12, which is 96. Okay, so therefore we can say that A, where's my pen? There we go. The amount out A would be the principal, which is 30,000, multiplied by 1 plus 0, 0,065 over 12, all to the power of 96. Okay, so let's go. We can go clear this and we go 30,000. Thousand multiplied by one plus the fraction of naught comma naught six five all divided by twelve to the power of 96 equals and that comes to 50,397 cents so it comes to 50,397 cents I'm just going to write it up here as well 50,397 cents now we have to think about timelines because now things are a bit different because he actually takes out some money and then puts some money back in and it seems like it should work out the same but it doesn't it obviously doesn't because for that period where the money was gone he's not earning interest on it okay so let's look at the timeline right initially he was invested 30,000 rands so that's 30,000 rand that's invested right then it says after three years at T3, which is after three times four is 36 months. Okay, he subtracts 10,000, he brings it out. Then for the next two years, okay, T3 to T5, he, nothing, he earns interest. Okay, then he adds 10,000 rand and then he goes on to T7. Okay, so it's a little bit sad because he is going to lose interest here where he hasn't, where he's withdrawn his money. So let's work this out. So do you agree for this bit here, for each of the periods, the I is going to be 0, 0, 0.065 over 12. But yeah, the N is going to be from here to T3, that's 3 times over 36, so that is 36, okay? Yeah, the N is 24, and yeah, the N is 20, 5, 6, 7, it's the end of the fifth year, so therefore it's just 2 thirds 24. Okay, right, happy. So now, let's have a look. So we've got A is equal to the original principle of 30,000, 1, 2, 3. Multiply by 1 plus 0, 0, 065 over 12, okay, to the power of 36. Right, now that there is the principle that we would get at a T3, right? But now we're going to take that principle that we've got out of T3 and we're going to subtract 10,000 Rand from it. Okay, and that there is the principle for this next bit here. This bit here is the principle for this, okay? Now for the next 24 months, we've got 1 plus 0, 0, 0 six five over from here to here what did we say it was we said it was till 12 but it was the power of 24 okay now all of this minus again no adding now we're going to add 10,000 rand add the 10,000 rand that there is the principle at this point okay because we adding 10,000 and now we need to multiply that by 1 plus i, which is 0, 0,065 all over 12, 
all to the power of 24 again, because look there, 24, 24. Sure, what a big sum. So let's just go through that again. Initially, we were invested 30,000. I know it looks like 37, but that's a 30. So we initially invested 30,000. Add 0.6.5% compounded monthly for three years, which is why it's 36 because it's three times 12, okay? Then we subtracted 10,000 Rand. Then that but they became the principal for the next two years. Okay, then we added 10,000 Rand. We added it back. And that became the principal for the next two years. Okay, so the best way to do this, I'm having a look, is to do the first big bracket. Okay, we're going to do the first big bracket. Let me just get the color. We're going to do the first big bracket, this one here. Then we're going to multiply it by this. Then we're going to add this, and then we're going to multiply by that. Okay, whoopsie. So let's do that. Okay, so let's get the calculator out and clear it. And let's start at the beginning. So we're going to take 30... And we're going to multiply it by one plus a fraction of naught comma naught, what is it, six five, all over twelve. to the power of 36, whoopsie, 36, 36, okay, so let's equal that, okay, so that's this bit here, now we need to subtract the 10,000 Rand, because he's now pulling out 10,000 Rand at that point, so we're going to minus, minus, 10,000, 1, 2, 3, 10,000 equals. So now we only left 26,440. Okay, do you see that? Which is actually less <laughs> than what we started with. Okay, now, now we're going to take this and we're going to multiply it by the interest for the next few years. So this becomes multiplied by the bracket of one plus, this is naught comma naught six five, all over, let's try again, all over 12, Uh, close bracket, close bracket, to the power of 24 equals, so there we go, we're back up to 30,100, now we add a 10,000, so now we add a 10, thousand ten thousand now that is the principle for the last two years then we're going to multiply this oh dear what did i do so what was that let's go back no where to go um, one, hang on, times one bracket. Uh, I've got a minute, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get rid of something here. One times one close bracket equals, okay, and then let's go up. Okay, so we've got 40,100, okay, and 23 cents. Now we're going to multiply that 
by 1 plus a fraction naught point naught six five all over twelve bracket bracket to the power of twenty four equals Oh, darn it, it didn't work. Um, what was that though? It was 40,100. Let me just go up. Okay, 40,123. Okay, so let's just try that. So we're going to take 40,000. Let's just clear this. 40,100 and... Mm, delete. 100.23... And we're going to multiply that by 1 plus uh, I mean, fraction of 0 0.065 all over 12. Bracket to the power of 24 and that equals 45,651 rand and 26 cents. So you can see that the shield by pulling out the 10,000 rand loses about 5,000 rand in an in interest, which is quite big. Right, thank you grade 11s. Um, I will carry on with probability on Wednesday. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.